Hello everyone, welcome to my get together. My name is Aleka and today's recipe is going to be my baked ham and cheese sliders. They are probably the easiest thing to bring in bulk to a party or to prepare if you're expecting more than I would say about six guests. I'm going to use King's Hawaiian rolls, some Worcestershire, some Swiss cheese, you can use any cheese you like, some butter, poppy seeds if you have, this is optional. And then a, I found this boar's head honey mustard sauce. You can make your own honey mustard, super easy. Just do equal parts honey and mustard. Or if you like it sweeter, more honey. I also love making this recipe because you can make it year round. People are never gonna get tired of it and you can make it in advance, put it in the fridge and then pop it in the oven. As guests are arriving, it is the perfect uh, recipe to make in advance. Okay, so let me show you how I am making these. We are gonna start with a bunch of mini slider rolls. I love King's Hawaiian. No, they're not paying me to say that. I just love them. I use them. I'm gonna link to my other King's Hawaiian recipe below. They're so sweet, they're tender, they're soft, they're perfect for really a lot of sandwiches. This pack is a 24 pack. Maybe they have a 12, um, but go big or go home, right? So we're gonna make these. I'm gonna try give them to some to Mason, give some to my husband for lunch, and then call it a day. <laughs> I'm gonna slice them in half first, okay? Take a serrated knife, because serrated knife is really meant for breads, and we're gonna slice it all the way across. I'm gonna do it, try to get it in one shot, and try to get the middle if you can. Okay. So I, I hope I got through the middle. If you didn't, you can just get a little a longer knife or um, do it as you go. I want to try to take the top off so it stays in one piece. Otherwise, it's not gonna be a pull apart slider that we all love to eat, right? So the best way to do this is to take a sheet pan and turn it upside down. And I'm gonna see if this works. If it doesn't, hey, at least we tried. And then it should just stick. Okay, because it's already sticking to the paper, so it really is the best way to do it. Now, I'm going to assemble the bottom first. This is where all of my goodness is gonna go, and I'm gonna put my sauce here, so let's get started. So, super fast and easy. There's really no wrong way to do it. I'm going to put my ham on first, and then I'm gonna put my cheese, and then I'm gonna put my sauce on the top, and then close that baby up, brush it, bake it, and we're gonna be done. I love to fold ham. I don't know if it's just me, but if you just put it on like this, this is what it's gonna look like on the sandwich, and that's not very appealing. So fold your ham, people. Fold your ham. Okay, so I was able to fold these babies up, put them down, one over each slider. I'm gonna do the same thing with my cheese. Remember, you can use mozzarella, provolone, gruyere, or you can grate cheese and put it over top. Nine slices of Swiss. If you guys like it super cheesy, put on more cheese, whatever you want. It's up to you, it's your sliders. Next, we're going to brush on my honey mustard mixture on the top part. Um, you can do this on the bottom too, but I like I think it acts more like a glue, so I'm going to squeeze and brush. Okay, so now how do we put it back on the pan? Remember, this is the top, so we don't want to put it on upside down. So what we're gonna do is, and you just have to be careful, lift it up and just fold it over, okay? If it comes apart, it's not the end of the world. Cheese is gonna act as the glue and help it stick back together. So this is what we're looking like right now. You can see some good cheese and meat. Parchment, help prevent it from stick, sticking and you can easily pull it off onto the table or wherever you're serving. It's just easier, guys. Okay, round two. Ooh. Okay. This is why I love these, because they really like stick together so well. <laughs> there we go, now we're not done yet. Okay, they're good like this, but to make them even extra delicious, we're going to add some butter. Now in the butter, before I do that, 
some umami, some really good savory flavor. Worcestershire sauce. About a tablespoon. And if you want, you can even add a little bit, a little bit more honey mustard. Mix that up. If you want to, optional ingredient, onion powder. We're gonna do garlic instead. So, to amp up this flavor a little bit, and this is completely optional, garlic powder, onion powder, you can't go wrong with either, ever. If you don't add that, this is a six ingredient meal. If you consider them ingredients, that would just be a couple more eight. So we're gonna brush this on. How can this be bad, right? I mean. <sighs> and finally, just to make the top a little bit more pretty, some poppy seeds. You can add sesame seeds too. You can do fresh herbs dried herbs, really whatever you want. You can even do Parmesan cheese, which would be delicious, but I like the color. It just almost looks more like um, a sub shop. Ta-da! Now, we're gonna cover this very lightly because we don't want it to stick too much and pop it in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes or so. Um, we really just want the cheese to melt. We're not cooking it. It's already cooked through. We can eat it like this if we wanted just so the cheese melts. If you're making this in advance, cover it, put it in the fridge, and pop it in the oven whenever you're ready to bake it off. Okay guys, our ham and cheese baked sliders are ready. You can serve it straight like this and have everyone pull it apart. You can pre-cut it like I said, but either way, they were delicious, they're cheesy, they're buttery, they're slightly sweet, and they're gonna be hit at your party, I guarantee it. To get this recipe and other tips, there's a link below you can click on. Please make sure to subscribe and like this video so that you can get more tips and tricks for entertaining and recipes for entertaining at home. Have a good party, everybody. Cheers.